Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Karku. Welcome back to the Karkives, the Karku Archives, where I do VOD reviews, gameplay, and a lot of tier list content, which I'm sure you've seen if you're watching this right now. I'm doing this live on stream at twitch.tv slash Karku. I play a lot of support at a top 500 level. So, what I'm going to rate right now is easy heroes in Overwatch, or very beginner-friendly heroes. Uh, this is more of, what's that? Uh, I just asked you guys how to explain it. I'm not very good at articulating my words. Low skill floor. Not necessarily high skill ceiling, but these are just heroes that I'm trying to tell you that are just easy to get value with. A very low skill floor. Like, even if you're not good at the hero, picking it up for the first time, it's so easy to just contribute to your team and get value. You want to focus on these. That's what I'm titling this video. And then I'm also going to obviously rank what's like kind of in the middle. I didn't want to overcomplicate it by giving you too many tiers. So I just kept it at three. But just know a lot of them can probably fall in between them if you really think about it. But like, don't think too hard. This is a very ba bare bones list that you can send to your friends that are just completely new to the game. They're like, who do I play? And then they're like, oh, I keep sucking. Like you can throw them on the easy value heroes to at least contribute. And then they'll pick up game sense and pick up what other people heroes do then they can advance to the more medium and harder ones okay easy to learn hard to masters yeah thank you for uh putting this in words for me chat uh shouldn't hard be in red ah uh, whatever uh, the colors don't matter just know it's easy medium hard uh, i think um diva is kind of in the middle i think for new players it is so easy you just feed your mech like crazy even not even new players like even like people who've been playing this game for a long time they feed like crazy if they don't play correctly positionally. There's a lot of skill to be had with D.Va. Uh, so she's kind of hard in that sense. But she's pretty easy in the sense that you just can hold Matrix and do a lot for your team. By simply existing, having a second life. Like if you lose your mech, you can get re and stay alive. The fact that that can happen. Like D.Va is a very popular new hero and she's a popular hero in general. But because she has two extremes, she's kind of just in the middle for me. Orisa, I rank easy to get value. If you're a complete noob at this game, you're trying to figure out how to play tank, you can't go wrong with Orisa. So easy to just put a shield down and your team can immediately capitalize and use that. So I think everybody can agree that Orisa is very noob friendly uh, and very easy to, to play. Reinhardt? Surpr like Reinhardt mechanically isn't very hard and he's pretty easy to get value uh, just by like walking up with his... I was like, like I said, if I had more tiers, like if I did five, I would actually put this in between. But for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to reduce the fraction down to just easy. Like you can hold a shield for your team if you choose to. You can get aggressive with your swings. He's not mechanically hard to play. You don't have to aim, right? You just hit a few buttons. You hold, but just be careful because you can feed really easily as well with this hero. So, but for sake of simplicity, we'll just say he's easy. Um, you need game sense for all heroes. That's right. Uh, and that's why I'm trying not to think too hard about it. Roadhog, uh, it's medium. I would say, again, this would be in between if I was thinking hard about it. Uh, just because, like, you instantly have a shield to protect you. Like, it's forgiveness with the shield to stop taking damage. If you're just in a bad spot, you're almost just dead all the time. Hook. Like, the hook and kill combo is easy as well, but, like, that's why I keep it in the middle, just because of the sake that the feeding... Do you think easy, but feeding can be a problem? If Hog has, like, even half-decent aim, it's easy. Uh, maybe you're right. I take it back then. I'll, I'll, I kind of take what chat is saying. I'm thinking too hard about it. I'm thinking too much about alt battery, but I also have to consider that um, the enemy team is also... If you're playing, if you're new to the game, you're going to be playing against other people who are new to the game, and they won't really punish you. And just getting a single pick by just landing a single hook already gets value because you can't really mess up the shot. So I would say he's easy in that way. But yeah, you have to land the hook. So there's a big if with the hook thing. But he can heal himself with take a breather, which allows you to not have to rely on anybody else. So that in itself, not having to rely on supports when you're new to the game with your other supports who are also new will, will make this easy time for you to survive. So you know what? I'll keep him there. Sigma is too hard for noobs. There's too much to remember and to do with this hero that uh, I would suggest just don't play this guy early on. He's too much to manage. Primary fire timing, shield dancing, throwing your shield up, knowing when to suck, knowing how to dodge and retract your shield. This, this one's just way too hard for most people. Monkey, kind of easy as well. 
but very easy to feed at the same time. Uh, I would say he's actually not as easy as the other ones because what's going to happen for new players is they're just going to like, they don't feel like they're killing anything. And they're just gonna get a little uncomfortable here. I like, and having Primal Rage is such a hard ultimate to use. Like Reinhardt, you press a button, that's it, and the Shatter just does it for you. Bongo, like Arista Supercharger, you just push a button, and it's just there for you. But Monkey Primal, I mean, using Primal is like a big part of playing Monkey, and that shit is hard. Very, very hard. And learning how to do all the different types of leaps and jumps on him very hard compared to press fortify Brrr, hold primary fire put shield down like you know you think about it that way right so i think in that sense we should probably put this on hard stick to these three for the same with ball ball is way too much things to remember for noobs we'll keep ball here gotta learn how to grapple build fireball slam there's a lot of there's a reason why there's so many ball techs is because he's very very skill intensive mechanically yeah, I would say ball's hard. Ball's hard. Zarya, um, medium. Like having, if you have zero energy, you, you kind of just do air. Uh, so it's just really dependent on if you know how to build energy, you get to time the bubbles. Like getting good bubbles is strong and getting a grab is very good too, but definitely in the middle. I would say definitely right in the middle. Uh, for noobs. If you have any sort of FPS background, I'd say Ash is a solid fundamental hero to kind of like play. Although you could argue that like they won't hit their diamond. Like, this is why you put a medium. You could still get value. Um, but like her fire rate is very slow. So if you can't hit them consistently, you also won't do much. This is a lot more straightforward though. Definitely not too bad. Bastion, uh, he's this is the reason why he's so popular in lower ranks. He's just fucking, you know, just sit down, brr, 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 do nothing. Especially if you have help. Very noob friendly. And you can heal yourself. Um, Doomfist, probably too hard for noobs. Enough said about this. Uh, too many mechanics and techs and stuff to be effective at the higher ranks. Um, I'll put Doomfist at hard. Same with Echo. Although Echo is like... Just having like that flight management and learning how... Having to deal with the movement. Learning how to dupe time and... The fact that you have to duplicate any hero at any time and you should know how to play all the other heroes in a sense. If you're a complete noob, it's hard. You don't know who to duplicate and how to play half the heroes you duplicate if you do this. Um, although you can still get value from bombs. You, uh, like I said, if if there was four, five tiers, I would put this in the middle then for that reason. Echo is medium compared to Pharah. Mm, eh, yeah. Yeah. I think most people would agree it's in between hard and medium, right? Some of you guys are saying hard, some of you guys are saying medium. If we had here a, a fourth, one here, an extra rank in the middle here and here, I think we would all agree we could probably put it at the fourth option. So like, I don't think you can go wrong. There's arguments for both sides here. So I'll just, I'll just stick it in here. Genji, bro, he's high rank players are finding it very, even the most skilled Genjis are finding it very hard to get value. If you don't have like coordinated dive to get resets, and if you're a new player, there's so many better options to play than Genji. Genji like blade mechanics for noobs? No, thank you. Hanzo medium because like he's a lot more straightforward than Hanzo instead of like all this movement. If you just stand there and just fire storm arrows on cooldown, throw a Sonic for your team. Even if you miss a lot of your shots, Sonic's kind of you just. Throw a Sonic to help your team, and you just keep firing arrows in that direction, and Sonic arrow, a lot more straightforward than, like, having to do all the mechanics here. Uh, I put it in medium. Same with Junkrat. Actually, I'd say Junkrat's pretty noob-friendly. If you have a friend, like, I'm trying to think it from the lens. I'm trying to think, if I had a friend, let's say I had, like, a 10-year-old cousin trying to play Overwatch, and I told him to play a DPS, I would say Junkrat's probably one of them I would recommend, just because you can just, you just spam. Yeah, he's easy. McCree's similar to... to to the idea of it's very straightforward. Honestly, I would say McCree's even easy because he has flashbang. Flashbang, right click, fan the hammer. Easier to do than hitting a dynamite and hitting projectile shots. I think we can put a McCree here. I agree. Let's put him here. May. Uh, she's like 
if you can freeze them, they sit still for you to line up a headshot. But she is she has got a lot of things to remember. You got an ice block, getting good walls off, timing your your ice blocks, knowing when to shooting the projectile for the icicle is pretty hard for a lot of people and managing all those cooldowns. But again, we can put can still get value because all you gotta do instead of worrying about walls and stuff, as long as you hold that like freezing thing down, and the fact that you can stun them and put them still, you can still get value even if you suck at her. So and it's not. Like, if you just stand in a corner and you learn how to line up a simple wall and you know how to press the ice block button, you can still get value. So we'll keep her at medium. Uh, Farah. She's easier than Echo. There's less to manage with, like, knowing when to use your, like, execution beam and sticky bombs. But she is mechanically hard for a lot of people to stay in the air permanently. But as long as you're just in the air, don't think about positioning too much. Just shooting people for 120 damage with no fall off, just spamming. We could put it at medium. I wouldn't put it as easy as Junkrat because you got to manage the air part, but you kind of just spam. Um, I would say medium. Reaper, everybody can agree Reaper is easy. Pew pew, shoot them at close range. Enough said. Soldier, amongst the hit scans, also pretty easy for your, your friends to pick up. Uh, basic FPS hero. No need to like, with low rate, like, this one I put here because of the, the right click, the fan the hammer. These ones have low rate of fires that I worry that if they really can't hit anything, they just miss. But soldier, you just hold the button down. You'll hit some bullets. So easy. Yeah, your favorite hero is the Reaper guy. Ha ha ha. Sombra, medium. You can. It, it's not hard to just press, hold the, right, the hack hands just like this. And if you hack somebody, it immediately gets value. And if you just build an EMP, obviously big value. And you just primary fire. There's the skill part in like learning how to, you know, translocate and time it and play with the stealth and read the people. But in terms of just getting immediate value off the hack, we'll just put it on medium for that reason. All right. That's good. Symmetra. I would put it in between if I could, but easy to medium, right? Do you guys think easy? Sim easy, not easy. Don't underestimate people walking. Easy floor for sure. The turrets do play for you. If you set them up on defense and enemies and in the lens of a new player, a noob, beginners, playing against other beginners who don't shoot the turret, it can play for you. Careful with this one, you can make the fucking sim mains mad. They're already fuming. <laughs> it is free damage. Somebody else is playing for you in that regard. Um, it would be in between. But like learning how to do like the different types of teleporters, synchronizing TP bombs, timing good teleports, positionally getting a good wall off knowing knowing the difference of when to like hold your 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 projectile beam laser versus using your uh, secondary fire it's like you can all agree that it's more complicated to play sim than it is to just play soldier or like a junk rat like if you compare these four dps's compared to a symmetra there's more to worry about with the symmetra so for that reason I would love to put it in. I really should have added five tiers. You were right, but mm, I should have added five tiers. This is definitely in between. Okay, whoever, if you're ever watching this tier list later on YouTube and you're like, don't agree with where I put it, just know I could, you can put it in any of these, okay? Definitely not this, but in between here, okay? We'll just leave it at medium for now. I don't think you understand how much turrets mess up to new players. It's easy, you just place turrets and hold M1. Easy to get value. Oh, yeah, because the beam charges up against shields. The enemies don't. Okay, you know what? I'll take what chat says. Okay, they they just want easy. We'll put them on easy. Same with Torbjorn. You literally have a free player in the turret, and people don't destroy turrets. And I guess the same argument with Sim. Nobody destroys the turrets in, in, as new players, so they just always get value. But this is easier. This is 7v6 for noobs. Torb easy. Press overload to be extra tanky and just have a turret and just shoot, 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 shoot. Molten core, pour it on the ground, man. Easy. Tracer, way too hard for noobs. That one's a no-brainer. Everybody knows this. Tracer is one of the most mechanically intensive heroes in the game. Tough. Widowmaker, easy to get value. Depends if you have an FPS background. Tough. She's very squishy now with 175 HP. If there's even a semblance of somebody looking at her and she can't hit the shots at all, like she'll get no value. Like, no value at all if you can't hit anything. Compared to a soldier where you can just tickle them a little bit, you know, same with Ash. If you hit a body shot, body shot here or there, like, Widows might just... But because it's hard to live 
it's probably in between hard and medium here. Widow's definitely not easy for, for new players. People don't peel for her, but she does. She needs positioning. She needs aim. Yeah, I'm going to put Widow as hard. There's just too much. Like, you need to headshot and instantly delete to get value. The, yeah, these guys just sit there and you can pretty much do stuff already. Like, if you're not hitting anything, it's hard. You need positioning. No peeling. 175 health now. Uh, she dominates at the highest ranks in Smurfs who play in way lower ranks. But, like, if you have an equally... If you're beginning noob friendly in bronze, I will never, I never, I never fear the bronze widow because I just know she's not getting value because she's not skilled enough. So I think we can argue that we'll put it in hard. Uh, Anna of two demand, like Anna is very hard to play for new players. As a healer, there's just way too much to think about. Uh, you know, you got, you got to know when to heal, when to do DPS how to like nade and how to do aggressive nades how to hit sleep darts which is really hard for a lot of people quick scoping positioning there's too much to manage baptiste is medium definitely easier than anna because regen burst is a click of a button press a button get regen burst press a button people are immortal um so healing as baptiste is pretty easy because you shoot the ground you're not even this one you shoot at people you have to aim this one you just shoot at the ground and you get forgiveness by just aoe Honestly, he might even be easy for that reason. But I'm going to put him at me. If he was in between, if there's five ranks again, I put him in between. But I'm going to put him medium because I'm going to compare it to these other supports. Like really easily, we can put Brig as really easy to get value in my opinion. You literally click health packs, press rally, and you're good. Yeah, you got to bash and hold your shield up a bit. But you just swing. If you just even hit one person, you're immediately resonating passive value. You press a button get value i'm just gonna quickly put uh mercy and uh moira here without even any explanation like i'm just comparing i'm still in the baptiste part because when you compare bap about the things he does compared to like mercy holding a thing holding a button and moira just throwing an orb and holding the heel like these are these are the easiest for sure you can argue brig is in between these here to here because there is quite a bit more to manage on brig um most of these supports are pretty easy uh, let's do Lucio here. Where would I put Lucio? Theoretically, by simply just staying alive, you're also getting value too. Like we can, yeah, they won't really, new players won't really wall ride and use, like it has a high skill f ceiling because you can do a lot with Lucio at the highest ranks with the movement specifically. Same with Mercy, like the movement is insane, but like just picking up the hero and helping your team immediately, like Mercy, Lucio by existing, just press amp, press beat. In between here um this one you just hold heal on your team throw an orb you get value Br okay brig and lucio in between if i had to argue and like bap requires a bit more like yeah you shoot the ground blah blah, blah. And, and then if you think about it anna's the hardest to play out of all of them because there's just too much to do if you can't aim it's just gg zen will put medium because he has no self peel he can't really help himself zen's not as hard because if you have a discord on somebody and you have a healing orb on somebody that's instant value so i think Pressing a Discord on somebody just helps your team immediately. Lucio, you kind of do need to be in the right position because the aura is a smaller range. If you have bad timing, amp timings, like the passive aura coming in from the healing compared to a break. Ah, this one's hard, man. This is hard. Okay, I'm going to ask chat from their lens really quickly. You'd say, what do you guys think about Lucio? Swap Zen and Lucio? Easy to get value. Yeah, yeah. You pick, I meant to actually meant to put him here. Sorry. Yeah. Easy to get value strictly becomes, I'll put Lucio medium. Zen easy. Cause they're not going to flank or dive you. New players aren't going to have other new players dive you correctly by simply just pressing discord on somebody and throwing a harmony on somebody instantly get value. Lucio a bit harder to pick up right away. And you have to you have a really small range. Okay. We'll say brig easy. Okay. And that's the tier list for okay this is in summary in short right here got a new friend in overwatch trying to pick up the game you can kind of base it off this they're in order these are the three tanks i would recommend these are the dps's i would recommend and uh the, the four supports in order of ease of use to just lock in and you can help your team instantly uh and then if you lock in any of these guys too much to remember and do too hard to do primal juggles and learn how to do all the leap combinations grappling holding the grapple getting building fireball slamming rolling through 
kind of hard. To, it's kind of hard to find value. Doomfist. I, I would slide Doomfist up a little bit because you can just punch and kill someone immediately. But like, you gotta man. There's so much tech involved. There's a lot of ceiling to this guy. So this would be an in between. Um, and then Echo also could be slid up a little bit just because you can instantly get value with the sticky bombs. But you gotta do flight flying management you have sticky bombs you have primary fire you got to hold the primary fire you got to do a beam at the execution time you got to duplicate then you got to remember how to play every other hero when you duplicate for noobs too much genji bro he's so weak compared to everybody else like why play genji as a new player when you got all these movement stuff to worry about when you can just play like soldier you know what i mean tracer too much stuff to remember with movement widow Never fear a bronze widow. If you can't hit, it's too hard. You can't like hitting headshots consistently as a new player with all the like if even if you come from like traditional FPSs, the movement in this game is so fast. Like even if you played like CSGO, that's when people like walk you know people can only come if they come around a corner, they only come this way. When you're a bronze widow and you gotta deal with the Winston here, Diva there, Lucio over there, fucking doing random shit over there, blinking tracer over you. It's very hard for people to pick up the physics of this game, so have her in hard. Same with Anna, sniping, too much shit to remember. And that's why, it's not it's not in the complete correct order, but this is somewhere to start. That's the rationale. Everybody else falls in the middle. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.